Okay, modeler. So today we're going to do our final one in this book series that I've been going through. This is the, the final one I've got, number five. I think it is the final of them. Um, like I say in the early ones, I haven't got number one and two. Basic building and cockpits are the first two. Uh, I've only got these last three, and I've got to say they're, they're all exceptional. And we will go through this one uh, like we did with the other ones. I don't want to spend too long on each page. I don't want to have any copyright claims and stuff like that. I don't want to sort of go through it slowly, page by page, because then you won't have to buy the book, you can just freeze my video and read it anyway. But as you see, beautiful cover on this. This one here is to do with your final steps, like basically finishing off your aircraft. And so we'll start going through and having a look and see what goodies we've got inside this one. It's no different to the others, beautiful layout, uh, beautiful photographs, nice glossy paper. And then we go into our hard points, pylons. Um, this is something that gets skipped a lot because I know myself I get a bit lazy with this part of the building because it's not going to be seen very much. Most of it's underneath the wings and all that sort of thing. It's something I've got to learn to pay a bit more attention to. Uh, I do on certain builds if I want something to be absolutely spot on um, and I love the build, I will spend a bit of time on it. But this is great, this book is it's showing you lots of different things to do with that. Uh, doing up your drop tanks. Um, like how to detail those up, how to weather them up and all that sort of thing before you put them on the aircraft. Some really great techniques in this um, for doing all that sort of thing, finishing those parts off underneath. Uh, even using your pencils like on this page here, beautiful stuff, all your streaking effects. Even goes into your missiles, all your loadouts, um, how to do those. Uh, like how to paint them, how to weather them, all that sort of thing. Um, so some really handy stuff. Um, like the, the weathering goes into a lots of different um, techniques you can use as well, not just one or two. And this one here is your weapons, you like your bombs. Um, I really enjoyed this one because bombs are one of those ones a lot of times you see it just painted, whacked on there and that's it. But bombs could have been rattling around crates, rattling around the deck, things like that, being a bit scuffed up. So um, yeah, it, it is true to weather them up in a lot of cases. But again, some beautiful techniques. This one here on your, on your guns, like how to weather them up, like to make them look like, you know, a gun rather than just a piece of black plastic being painted um, and yes yeah, how to add detail to it all that sort of stuff how to replace your plastic parts with bits of metal tubing uh, to make you know, a bit more realistic um, doing your lights all that sort of stuff uh, like your gun covers sorry on that one there then we go into like your paint touch-ups um, varnish coats all that sort of thing uh, all your landing welds yeah, you've got some navigation lights and stuff here as well. Uh, then we go into propellers, chipping your propellers up to make them look good. And your noses. Like we know a lot of World War II stuff had some pretty busted up noses. One here is the Japanese aircraft. Um, the wooden propellers. And then we go into the whole section on nav lights, which I found awesome. It shows you how to sort of paint them, how to make your own little ones, things like that. Really, really handy stuff and how to do them. Um, you know, like that fine work on putting those on. Uh, this is all the parts you paint separately and then attach them, your landing gear, all that sort of thing, how to weather that up and attach it. Uh, your bomb doors, landing gear doors, attaching your bombs on your rails, all that sort of stuff. Uh, then goes on your canopies, taking your masking off, cleaning them up. Sorry about the flies, guys. It's one of the hot days here in North Queensland. We, we do have a few flies around this time of year. Um, but yeah, the canopy stuff is fairly detailed as well. It's not just a couple of pages. It goes through quite a few pages here on gluing them on, weathering them up, all that sort of stuff. Then you've got your antennas, probes, all that sort of stuff, speed indicator probes, all that sort of thing. Um, shows you how to paint those up, attach them, all that sort of stuff. Uh, rigging the antenna is one of those ones that a lot of us um, tend to have a few hassles with. It goes into aftermarket part, parts as well, and as well as making your own out of stretch sprue, all that sort of thing. In the past, I've used hair for mine. Shows you how to put the little knobs in the middles of them. Then we go into some rigging, which is another one that we struggle with, and well, I know I do. Um, rigging can be really painful if you if you really don't know the techniques that they use to do rigging. Can be very very painful to do. Um, as you see, some, just some beautiful examples in these books. I, I love just even just looking at the photos. If there was no words, I'd still have the book. I just love the photos in here. Um, fresh stains, oil stains, all that sort of thing goes into those in this, this part here. Um, and the great thing about these books too, it shows underneath the aircraft, not just the top surfaces, which most people see, but it shows you, you know, all the stuff that should be underneath as well. Uh, your mud and earth, stains, splashes, all that sort of thing goes into that as well. 
Uh, so you, it sort of depends on where your aircraft's been serving, um, you know, whether, you, whether, whether your wheels up like that been running on grass and mud. Uh, World War One aircraft used to get, as you see up here on the tail, lots of splashes and stuff like that blowing up on there, taking off on grass and muddy fields. Um, weathering your wing roots. And then we've got the gallery at the back here. Um, some beautiful work on display in these galleries, guys. Just I can spend ages just on one page looking through at the detail that I put into these. Absolutely superb stuff. And that's probably one of my favourites here. That is just a beautiful build. That. And actually, if you go through the earlier version, it shows you how they put that thing together. Everything from doing the wood grain to finishing, all that sort of thing. Um, Japanese aircraft, another one of my favourites. These with all beaten up paintwork on them. And this one here, the, the 190, that's beautiful. Um, just left in the raw aluminium in most parts. And um, you can see that the painting's been on there, but yeah, very, very nice. Um, and then our Hellcat, that's a gorgeous aircraft, that thing. And as you see, all the aircraft that have been in the earlier books, they're all on display in the back of this one. And uh, a little bit of advertising on the back page. So that's pretty much it for the series, guys. I don't think I'm going to worry about getting parts one and two. Maybe I'll get them a little bit later down the track. If I can get them at a good price, I'll probably pick them up. Uh, but at this stage, they're not like a, a must-have for me um, because basic building, I'm sort of happy with what I do. I know I'd probably learn a lot of stuff from those books too that I don't know already. Um, and the other one is cockpits, which I don't spend a great deal of time on myself with cockpits, uh, and I'm happy at the level I do anyway. But. I can definitely recommend this book too, the finishing off one guys, um, as you see as we went through there, absolutely beautiful book, beautiful photographs and some great information in there, really really nice stuff. So if you want to sort of step your level up of um, you know, building and finishing and stuff like that, I can definitely recommend these books. Um, but not much else or more I can sort of do, I can't brag about them too much more guys, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed doing them and I'm happy I purchased these books. They're definitely part of my building counter now, they're sitting there all the time. Um, but anyway guys, check out all the links down there below, like normal, if you like the video, give me that thumbs up. If you want to sub to the channel, there's a big sub button down there you can hit. Uh, check out my other links down there to Facebook, Patreon, um, any place where you can buy this book, stuff like that. But as always guys, thank you very much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.